Billy Turner, um, who played right tackle in week 12 against the uh, Los Angeles Rams. And so um, I'm here to critique um, Billy Turner's play in this game. Uh, the reason why I chose the Rams, number one, uh, because this is one of the most uh, talented player personnel teams in the National Football League, and I wanted to see Billy Turner against the best. So this play is going to have uh, Aaron Jones right here. He's going to run a uh, wide zone run to the right-hand side. And you have Billy Turner right at the top of your screen by the tight end. Um, and you have a three wide receiver set down here, jumbo set. And uh, Billy Turner has the uh, three-point stance. And uh, it's going to be a drive block by him. And a drive block is uh, basically you're going to blow this guy up uh, with the shoulder pads. And Billy Turner does an okay job with it. Um, I wish he would have done a better job by it. But he has a three-point stance there. He's going to try and go for the numbers, try and get his the hardest part of his hand, the palm of his hand down there by the wrist, try and get it under the uh, armpits and drive them. And you see right here at the top of your screen, he has that three-point stance. And he's going to try and drive block uh, number 94, Ashawn Robinson, who uh, I wanted in free agency. So here we go. All right, so you're going to see Ashawn Robinson come in here and go against 94. Again, really good play by uh, Billy Turner. Here he is right here. He's going to push number 94. All right, so at, when he started that play, he did good, and then he lost containment on him. But it's still a really good play by Billy Turner. He's he's able to uh, get the number 94, Ashawn Robinson, off of his spot. And uh, Ashawn Robinson is able to uh, get uh, Aaron Jones uh, right there for um, a good tackle by him. So here we go. Good leverage. Bam. Following the halfback. One more time. All right. This is a uh, second and four on the Green Bay 23 yard line. So this play, you have another three-point stance up here by Billy Turner. It's basically going to be the same play, but it's, there's no fullback in the backfield. You're going to have Devontae Adams run into motion down right here, um, closer to the uh, wide uh, X receiver here. And um, right here, you have Billy Turner three-point stance drive block, and he's going against Aaron Donald. And the reason I am showing you this is, is why defensive linemen like Aaron Donald are so important in the National Football League. Billy Turner has no chance against Aaron Donald, and the reason I'm showing you guys this is because, yeah, Billy Turner is going to look good against the scrubs like a Draymond Jones, like a Shelby Harris, all the above. But when he's going against a guy like Aaron Donald on the level of Aaron Donald in a 3-tech and a 3-4, this is a 3-4 defense right here. Von Miller at the top, Leonard Floyd, and you have your three techs in the middle. Watch watch this play by Aaron Donald and also watch uh, Billy Turner. The criticism I have about Billy Turner on this play is basically drive block. You need to get under Aaron Donald's uh, shoulder pads. Do not play handsy with uh, Aaron Donald because Aaron Donald's going to beat you nine times out of ten on that play. Um, so this is just a poor uh, technique work on the part of Billy Turner. Um he looks good at the start, but you're going to see the uh, overwhelming technical issues come into play with Billy Turner on the top of your screen. Here he is right up here. Okay, number one, you're already playing hand fighting with uh, Aaron Donald. Number one, why you need to get under those shoulder pads and drive them because the running back is going to cut back, cut back, my apologies, and come through here. You have Billy Turner on the top of your screen right here, who just gets absolutely demolished in the running game by uh, Aaron Donald. You know, oh, it, it's, it looks good to me. Does that really look good to you when Javante Williams is running that football? I mean, that is a terrible play by Billy Turner. Here he is right here, Billy Turner. Okay, let's stop it right there. Okay, number one, you gave up on him. 
you, you basically got beat one-on-one -on -one against Aaron Donald. And Aaron Donald is probably the best defensive lineman in the National Football League here. Here we go again. Here's Billy Turner. He's just he's just hand fighting you. He knows that he can beat you at your own game, Billy Turner. Here he is. Get square. Get square with him. You gotta get square with a guy like Aaron Donald. Get square. Get diagonal on that play. Get square. One more time. Terrible play by Billy Turner. Okay, this is second and 10 on the Green Bay 40-yard line. And um, this is probably one of the worst plays I've seen Billy Turner do. Um, he just gets absolutely destroyed on this play. And a lot of people don't remember... This is uh, P.J. Gaines, and this is Leonard Floyd, and basically they're going to do a Von Miller and Derek Wolf type move. Oh, Derek Wolf wasn't important. Okay, totally. You're going to see why Leonard Floyd and Bill uh, and uh, my apologies, P.J. Gaines do a uh, gotcha move on uh, these two players right here. Billy Turner gets absolutely uh, hoodwinked on this play. So right here, Billy Turner at the top of your screen. You're going to have P.J. Gaines come inside, and you're going to have a whip around on uh, Leonard Floyd on this play. And watch how P.J. Gaines just goes through. I mean, again, <laughs> that is a really terrible play by Billy Turner. You need to keep your hips square. You need to keep just backing up, chopping your feet, playing that tight, tight uh, window setting here. You have this feet set right here. You're doing a perfect job, and then you just get absolutely hoodwinked, and then bang, right there. You Aaron Rodgers was uh, lucky enough to get out of that play there. But, man, that if that was a Matt Reiner and Joe Flacco, he would have been sacked on that play. I count that as a sack. If that wasn't Aaron Rodgers, if that wasn't uh, Russell Wilson, um, that would have been a sack. So here we go again, right up here. I mean, you need to keep you need to keep square right here. Let's just go slow motion. All right, see, so you're going to have a whip around. You're going to have PJ Gaines. You have Billy Turner at the top of your screen. All right, right here. Again, you see how he has how he has them shown that way? You should have kept this way when you were uh, playing your two-point stance there. Do not, again, as an offensive lineman, do not give that inside leverage to anybody. And I mean anybody. You keep those feet square. You keep those hips near the sideline if you're playing right tackle. You do not open up like that. Okay, that was a gotcha move by uh, P.J. Gaines. And look, if that was Joe Flacco, he would have been sacked. I just want to make that point very, very clear. And again... Russell Wilson, will he be able to? You know, if this is week 16 and he's going to beat the crap, you know, maybe he doesn't have that same uh, ability to escape pressure. So just think about that when you guys are thinking about, uh, you know, how good Russell Wilson can be. You know, this is a 17-game uh, season we're going against here. <laughs> Terrible play by Billy Turner. Okay, this is second and six on the LA 45-yard line, week 12 against the Los Angeles Rams. You have Billy Turner at the top of your screen, three wide receiver set, two running backs in the backfield, Aaron Rodgers, of course. You got the offensive line against a 3-4 defense. And uh, you have Von Miller at the top of your screen right here. And again, I don't understand why Billy Turner's going to the second level. I believe this was the right guard's job. But again, Billy Turner, stay in your sets, man. I mean, I don't know why you're going to help out this when you have Von Miller, who's a very excellent run defender. Everybody wants to talk about his pass rushing ability. But I find it more incredible that he has a great uh, run stuffing ability. But again, Billy Turner, you need to stay with Von Miller because uh, basically it was basically one yard game because Billy Turner misread his block right here. You'll see it. And you have that drive block again. You have the three point stance going to be a drive block again. If I was Billy Turner, I would have been in two-point stance like Elton Jenkins at the bottom of your screen. Um, I don't know why you're at a three-point stance. I don't know if that's what you were told on that play, if it was a certain play call. But basically, it's going to be a handoff to Aaron Jones right here, and Von Miller just comes crashing down and because he's untouched. 
Again, Von Miller needs to be touched on this play in terms of he needs to be blocked on this play. Watch this. I'm going to go slow motion. Okay, here we go. V Vaughn, okay, he's playing that. Okay, is he going to pitch it out to him? Is it going to be a quick throw? You're going to see a handoff right here and watch how he just gets untouched. Holes opening up. You already have the linebacker here. Again, why Billy Turner, why are you going to him? Stick with Vaughn Miller. I just don't get that play. I don't I don't understand that play at all. You need to stick with your man right there. See, and again, if you were in your three point stance, you would have been able to block him and then all all Aaron Jones had to do was miss his man uh, Troy Reader right here. Again, I don't understand this at all. It makes no sense to me why he's going directly to the linebacker when he needs to go against Vaughn. Do it one more time. All right, this is a third and five for Green Bay on the LA 44 yard line. Um, this is a really good play by uh, Billy Turner um, against Von Miller one on one, and this is what I want to see. Von Miller is going to do his typical swim move on him, and just look how quickly Billy Turner gets out of his set here. And this is what I want to see from a right tackle right here. Okay, so yeah, Billy Turner. Uh, Four wide receiver set out there. I just like this play by Billy Turner a lot. He's in, he's in, again, he's in the Elton Jenkins stance in that two point stance, getting ready to pass block. Watch how quickly he's able to get over here in a matter of seconds. Kick his leg back, bam. See, he's already in set. So Von Miller can try and go inside, but you're, okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to go outside? I already have you beat. See, I love this, the stance right there. Perfect. Perfect timing against a guy like Von Miller. And watch watch him just stick with him. Great. Great play. Great play by Billy Turner. I love his get off right here. That is that is what you need to do against guys like this. Perfect. And again, here he has again Aaron Rodgers quick play. Great play. Bam. And again, Billy Turner. Right up here at the top of your screen. Perfect play by him. Perfect play. Really good job by Billy Turner on that play. I love how he just kept with it. And he's square. And he's square. He's chopping his feet, getting ready for Von Miller to do whatever Von Miller does. And that's a great play by Billy Turner. Excellent play by him. One of my favorite plays I've seen so far by Billy Turner. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, this is uh, third and 11 on the uh, Los Angeles 38-yard line. Um, this is going to be a deep pass to Alec Lazard. It's going to be a deep route on a Darius Williams, the corner. But I want you guys to watch Billy Turner, and you guys tell me, from what I see from Billy Turner is he struggles against power rushers. Um, he is very inconsistent against uh, speed rushers, but um, I think he can handle his own against speed rushers. But watch v Von Miller just do this absolute bull rush on him. And you have him on a two-point stance. I like that. And just watch how he just gets bulldozed right here into Aaron Rodgers. Right up at the top of your screen. And there's going to be pressure. Again, a lot of people don't want to look at the pressure. They just want to look at the edge. But we'll also look at the pressure from the interior. This is why me and my partner and everyone that agrees with us. Why we need interior people more than edge people. But just watch watch Billy Turner and watch the interior here. I'm going to go slow motion. Watch him. Okay, Aaron Donald right here, Von Miller, it's just going to be a, basically a push down into the uh, quarterback right here. Just gets absolutely bull rushed by Von. 
And then you have Aaron Donald coming in. You already have Billy Turner getting pushed back into uh, Aaron Rodgers. And then you have Aaron Donald who's going to come in here and just clean it up. Right in there. See, look at that pocket. Look at that pocket. Just saying. This is why interior play is so important. Again, here's Vaughn. And then here is Billy Turner. I don't like that play by Billy Turner at all. And also what I saw on that play is Billy Turner became flat flat footed. And what I mean by flat footed is um, when you get flat footed, your entire lower body weight gets stagnant. I would have considered him continue to chop your feet there a little bit more than you did. You kind of just slow down in your feet uh, popping and you stopped uh, with your feet chopping, my apologies, and you just kind of let Von Miller come at you. And I understand that as an offensive tackle, you're going against Vaughn, and I know, I understand. But um, you need to continue to chop your feet. Don't slow down on chopping those feet because your entire lower body weight is going to become stagnant. So one more time. Gets just pushed back into Vaughn.